Big match coming down on WWE Monday Night Raw this week. This, of course, is coming off of the um, Battle Royal to find the new number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. I guess that, you know, um, they don't have a Dean Ambrose versus Miz match. It's going to be going down at No Mercy, so they can't just break that match out of nowhere. So I don't know how many guys were in the ring. Let's just say a 20-man Battle Royal uh, filled with guys like uh, you know, Luke Gallows, Machine Gun, Carl Anderson. I was surprised they had Finn Balor in there. Um, you had, uh, you know, Curtis Axel. You had Bo Dallas. Um, you know, I, I'm saying, you know, Gold Dust was in this thing. So I'm not saying that, you know, main eventers were going in there and battling this thing out to find out who was going to be going after the Miz's championship shot. But even though. Um, we had, a, a, I guess you can say, a Bullet Club reunion with Finn Balor as well as Machine Gun Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows um, having a big elimination um, in this match. I think they eliminated the big show, if I remember right. But, you know, it was not enough to topple over everything. Um, you know, Jeff Hardy was able to eliminate... Um, you know, Jason Jordan, um, I, I was really thinking that's where they were going, was that Kurt Angle was going to be pushing Jason Jordan to the top. It's like everyone knows where they're going, and that's the reason why they're starting to boo and they're starting to turn on Jason Jordan because of the fact that he's getting the, maybe not Roman Reigns WWE Championship thing, but he's being pushed down our throats a little bit too much. And I think that's what WWE wants. They want us to hate this guy. But, you know, in the end, um, I guess you can say a surprise guy in Jeff Hardy wins the match to become the number one contender to go after The Miz on Monday Night Raw. You know, Jeff Hardy is a four-time Intercontinental Champion. Is he at the point of his career where he's going to be getting this singles push out of the middle of nowhere? Um, the um, WWE tag team titles, right as of right now on Monday Night Raw, are in the hands of Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. Um, so maybe the Hardys don't have a way to go. But to me, the Hardys against two members of the Shield, to me, almost seems like it's almost some sort of a, a dream match. I know that... It's not going to happen today, and the club really hasn't been being pushed a ton as of late. But who isn't going to want to see you know, the club go up against the Shield? That was a dream match that people talked about a few years ago, um, getting to see the Bullet Club and the Shield go at it. I'd like to see that match on Monday Night Raw, but it's not going to happen yet. There's a lot of dream matches, and there's a lot of matches that I'm really hyped for that just we're not getting on Raw as of yet. Um, Jeff Hardy, um, we, we've seen him wrestle in singles. I know that it was after their return. I think it was uh, Matt Hardy had a match against Sheamus, and I think it was Jeff Hardy had a, a match against Cesaro. Those matches happened on Monday Night Raw back after their return uh, after WrestleMania. So it, it's not like Jeff Hardy hasn't had singles matches. But this is different because it's an intercontinental title match. It's against The Miz. Is WWE ready to pick up the ball on Jeff Hardy the way they dropped it off? If you can remember back uh, to 2010, no, I apologize, 2009, it was Jeff Hardy as probably, if not number one, number two, the face of the WWE behind John Cena. Um, he went to SummerSlam as the WWE Champion. I guess he was a World Heavyweight Champion. He lost to CM Punk. He came back. He lost the Loser Team Leaves Town match to CM Punk on SmackDown. Left. And he was gone for a long, long time. He, he went and wrestled in TNA. Um, and uh, there, there was this, that, and the other with drug charges and things like that. But the Hardys were able to, to, to um, pack themselves up. They were able to repackage themselves with the whole delete, delete, delete shit, and they were able to, you know, get back to WWE this year. Um, lots of stuff went down. They're still not able to be the Broken Hardys gimmick, but at least WWE, as of right now, has Retro Hardys, and I don't think that run is ready to end. I think that Jeff Hardy's getting a big match on Raw. I think that The Miz is going to be getting a big match that he can get a win in, it's not going to hurt Jeff Hardy to lose a singles match. Let's say Jeff Hardy does win this match and he becomes Intercontinental Champion. Where do you really go from here? What does Matt do? Does he end up just going to SmackDown and trying to be a singles guy again? I don't think at this point of his career, Matt really wants to be a singles guy. I don't think at this point in his career, I don't think Jeff Hardy wants to be a singles guy. If you can remember their 
delete, delete, delete stuff. Jeff almost took a back seat to Matt with a brother Nero gimmick. I, I, I think that Jeff Hardy still wants to wrestle. I think he still wants to be in WWE. But I don't think he wants to be champion. I don't even think he wants to be Intercontinental champion. I don't think he's going to turn anything down. But I don't think that's where they're going. I think the win, uh, the Miz wins this match. I don't really see a feud with the Hardys uh, in the tag team division. So I don't really see them getting attacked or costing his, in this match. I think the Miz just defeats a big name and is able to keep going on this Intercontinental title run where he just keeps on moving up the ranks of being one of the best Intercontinental champions of all time.